It's the 2013 Infiniti G37X. It's getting water in the headlight. And that's been going on for a while till it actually damaged the ballast. And those ballasts can be pretty expensive. And, uh, it can be pretty expensive, but I got this one off of uh, eBay for around forty dollars and uh, replaced it. The wire was the, the connector that comes off the ballast and goes to the bulb itself was a little bit shorter than the original one, but I wanted to use the one that came with the ballast. So it took a little finagering to get it on, right? Because that ballast and the area was very rusted. I'd been rusted out pretty badly. I didn't want to take a chance to go through all that work to put that in and find out that I have to replace it. Now, in order to pull this light out, you have to disconnect the bumper cover, which is basically one screw here and then you have a couple of uh, fasteners underneath here and up in here under the hood i will tell you later on why this plastic bag is here but under the hood you will have to um go ahead and reach there's a screw going in through here from this direction you have to go in there and undo that screw it's not as tight as it should be right now undo that screw and there's another hook up right in here. You have to move this right in here to get this screw down in here, loosen. And then I believe there's another one underneath from the bottom Then you can slide the light out. Okay, and in the back of that light is a um, once you get in there, you'll figure out how to disconnect the, the, the connection. There's only one connect, connector up front, right, in the back of this, but right about here. Okay, disconnect that, and then you can get in there and do the work. Now, the only way I can figure that water got in here, I took the whole light and put it in a big container of water, and it, it filled up, water started rushing in pretty quickly. There are two, what I call, breather area for this headlight assembly. The little nipple that come out, and it has a cap on it. Now, water was coming out through that when I took it out of the, out of the bucket. Right. So I figured that's the only way water is getting in. And this uh, hood gasket here was not fitting properly. So I'm figuring the water got in down in here and went in the front one and, and not the back one. And this is why I'm testing now. I have this plastic bag right here. So any water that I get past this, this um, gasket will run off and don't run on the light and get in. We had pretty heavy rain today and last night. And so far, I don't see, there's no water in the headlight yet. Okay, just a little fogginess from the residue of me testing it yesterday. This is the ballast that came out of the G37. As you can see the rust on here, the corrosion, and up in here too, also. So this thing was fried. And I also had to replace the fuse for that headlight because obviously when they happened, it probably blew the fuse.